my album, technically, my album would have come out last year. Would have come out, you know, middle or uh, actually, I was thinking about trying to get a like a Christmas release, like something around November, October, November. But to do the legal process to put out a record these days with all these cocky ass artists, it takes forever. Like it, it took a year to do the legal. You know what I mean? Like the record was done in four months, but to get you know John B and, and Bun and and you know and and and, and K and and. and you know, busy Ice Cube to get all these dudes to you know to, to agree and sign off and to get the samples cleared. The sample clearance is actually what took forever. And you, you said, know what I mean? You speaking of sample clearance, you said that you were the first to have grease sample. Oh clear. yeah, yeah. I'm I'm one of the first people technically to to get a grease sample clear because because poly, Polygram mm -hmm. they don't fuck with people. They turn down every sample clearance, but because they like my music, they entertain. The, the, the notion that I would ask for clearance. Mm -hmm. And then when they heard the record, they liked it. So wow. they gave me a clearance. They they charging me up the ass, though. <laughs> God damn. It cost that much? Damn. It's worth it, though. Yeah, that's worth it. But also, you said the album was done in four months. Yeah. Um, after just listening to it, it sounds like it has a real summertime kind of feel to it. Like, did you have that going in mind? Or? No, no. It's That's the tempo I, I do music in. I, like, my tempos are always up. Like, I, I, I do music in the tempo that you can walk to, like the natural heartbeat, rhythm of a heartbeat, or, you know, a, a person's gait. So, you know, that's me. I'm, I'm not trying to do the fist pump music, and I'm not trying to do the, the real down low. I'm not trying to do those beats because I can't I can't rap like that. Like, I rap to, to, to music that's more like Curtis Mayfield Superfly tempo. You know what I mean? That's me. Like, I just like music you can walk to and look like right. a pimp doing it, so. It yeah. seems like you kind of like develop or kind of force this new sound with this record. Is that fair to say? I say again? Is it, it sounds like you kind of force this new sound and have like this kind of. Oh, you kind of force to be a part of the new sound? No, no, it sounds like the way the uh, the sound on the album, it seems like it's new. It's something different like that you're bringing to the. Damn, the boss, sound. that's big. Well, you know, I didn't approach it to try to do anything new. As a matter of fact, I tried to do everything old. Hmm. I tried to do antiquated music. Like, all I listen to is, is, is Elder Barge and Curtis Mayfield and Luke Vandross and, you know, and, 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 and Switch and Slide and, you know, Slave, rather, and all these classic old funky records, you know, Mass Construction and, and, and you know, and, and um, Vaughn Mason, you know, these, these crazy eclectic right. funky records, Zap, Roger Troutman, all that shit. I'm just trying to do 80s music because 80s music, think about it, 80s, in the, in, in, in 80s, we had records... You know, people like um, David Bowie was putting out Hot Red. Let's dance. You know what I'm saying? Right, right, right. Queen put out another one, Bites the Dust. And Michael Jackson put out fucking Thriller. Come on, man. Like, 80s music was it. You can't front on that. So I'm just trying to recapture some of that 80s magic. Because it's still there. It's just you have to be you have to have analog ears to do it. And I'm still a tape head. You know, I still, I still like, you know, analog, man. Yo, man, no, sidebar, man. Guru was in there. Guru is one of my favorite engineers ever. Yeah. My nigga, he right in there chilling. My guy, he about the DJ right here. Fresh Kicks, Austin, Texas. Word. I 